Well, it's a tricky thing because it, it's these things break. It is hard to launch code. But at the same time, we don't know what's going on. And this is a bad time to suddenly come out and say, here's what's went Did wrong. Did they launch it too early? Probably yes. I mean, yeah. or they were under such pressure and under it was such a hot political football that it was hard to nail down the requirements and build it in a more structured, sensible way. Well, disturbingly, some of the issues with the website actually appear to be systemic, not just on the front end where you're trying to sign up, but on the back end too, where the insurers are involved. Well, you got to understand too. I mean, the front end uh, actually came together pretty well, especially early on. But the the back end, it's it's so many pieces. It's not a single monolithic thing, but sort of like 20 interlocking. Or actually, so, sorry. Well, no, go ahead. I don't, I don't mean to interrupt, but the president gets on the phone and he goes, fix this, right? What do guys like you respond when a guy like the president says, fix this? Well, you're, <laughs> you're going to have a very, very bad time for quite a while. And what you're going to do is start to, uh, see, the thing is, is it, it, first of all, you're feeling pretty bad because you should have caught this in testing. But all of a sudden, all these people have started to pile up, and you just can't, you can't meet the demand. It's, it's literally just like a, a line out the door, and mm. you, can't get, you can't process people fast enough. So what you have to do is start looking for the individual mm -hmm. points of failure and start tuning and tweaking and messing with them until you can. So cr that's critical point here. You're suggesting this is a tune and tweak project, not a blow it up project. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's so hard right now because there's no transparency. I, you know, I read this morning that there are possible possibly five million lines of code that need to be rewritten. Huh. That's, a, wow. that's a crazy number. I don't know if that number is real or not. Have you ever done that many lines of code? And we're probably never <laughs> going to find out either. Well, we should be able to find out. I mean, I don't understand why the government has to keep this giant process so completely secret. It could be way more transparent. And in fact, the front end of the code that launched in, in June was wide open. You know, there are a lot of parallels between this and something else that's also faced a lot of computer glitches. The common app online. Uh, a lot of high school seniors applying for college have faced all kinds of problems submitting their applications. The problem is there that this really became widespread as they got closer to the application deadline. Does that mean that with the healthcare exchanges, the deadline not being until January 1st, there's going to be another round of problems to come? Yeah, I mean, what you find is that, actually, just taking a step back, it's so hard to log people onto systems, and that's where things are breaking. They're breaking on common At the app. login level? Yeah, that's actually where a lot of it's starting. And when you talk to people who build these systems, a lot of times you'll talk to a developer, they'll say, I'm going to fix log on for our entire organization. And then you come across them two years later and they look like they just got back from war. It's one of those really, really can hard things. Can you remember things. all your passwords? I can, yeah. How do you do that? I, use a spe I, I have a special <clears throat> really hard to guess password and then I add the name of the website in front of it. Whose fault is this? Is this Secretary Sebelius' fault? Is this President Obama's fault? Is it Nancy Pelosi's fault? Well, you're Pelosi's always looking fault? for blame. Somebody's got to get the blame for this. It's a disaster. Well, it's a closed process. Nobody really knows. But the truth is somebody got a lot of money, in particular a company, CGI Federal, a couple other companies. Uh, they didn't deliver a product that worked. So ultimately, yeah, I mean, whoever signed that contract, Sibelius.